Welcome to the Optics RTN 910A hardware at a glance. You can click a specific button to learn more or view the entire presentation. Optics RTN 910A is a split microwave product consisting of the IDU 910A and ODU. An IDU 910A connects to an ODU using an IF cable. The indoor unit of the RTN 910A. The IDU 910A performs service access, multiplexing, IF processing, system communication, and control. The IDU 910A is a 1U chassis with pluggable boards. Air is let in on the left side and out on the right side of the chassis to dissipate heat. Boards supported by the IDU 910A include the system control, switching, and timing board, IF board, Ethernet interface board, native TDM interface board, packet TDM interface board, auxiliary interface board, and fan board. This makes the device suitable to various scenarios. The CSHR system control, switching and timing board is integrated on the IDU 910A chassis and cannot be removed. The board implements system control, TDM packet service switching, clock functions, and provides service ports as well as IF ports. Therefore, the IDU 910A can provide basic applications without housing other boards. ISM6 is a new generation IF board with two IF ports. ISV3 is a versatile IF board supporting both integrated IP and SDH microwaves. EG4, EG4P is a four port GE interface board. It provides flexible combinations of port types to meet a variety of service requirements. An EG4P board provides two power over Ethernet ports, which can also be used for connection with Optics RTN 310 380. SL1DA is a two port STM1 optical interface board. It also provides STM1 electrical ports by using SFP electrical modules. SP3S is a 16 port, 75 ohm, 120 ohm E1 tributary board. It receives and transmits E1 services and RTN 910A that transmits E1 services in native mode. CQ1 is a four-port channelized STM1 processing board. ML1 and MD1 are smart E1 service processing boards. AUX is an auxiliary and management interface board. It provides an order wire phone port, a synchronous data port, an asynchronous data port, and a four-input, two-output external alarm port. Fan is a fan board for heat dissipation of the chassis. It supports intelligent speed adjustment. The ODU, outdoor unit of RTN 910A, converts the frequency and amplifies the power of signals. This video uses XMC2 and XMC3 ODUs as an example. An XMC2 ODU can operate in IS2 or IS3 mode. It provides an antenna port, an IF port, an RSSI test port, and a ground screw. The XMC3 ODU is a new generation ODU with a compact size, 
lower power consumption, and higher modulation schemes. It operates in IS-3 or IS-6 mode. An XMC-3 ODU provides an antenna port, an IF port, an RSSI test port, and a ground screw. The antenna port of the XMC-3 ODU can adapt to the polarization direction of the antenna. You do not need to adjust ODU installation. An ODU connects to an antenna in direct or split mounting mode. The direct mounting mode is usually adopted when a small diameter, single polarized antenna is used. If one ODU uses one antenna, the ODU can be directly mounted to the back of the antenna. If two ODUs share an antenna, a hybrid coupler must be added between the ODUs and the antenna. An ODU can also be directly mounted to a small or medium diameter, dual polarized antenna. Two ODUs are mounted to an antenna using an OMT. The OMT is installed in a similar way as the hybrid coupler. The split mounting mode is generally adopted when a large diameter single or dual polarized antenna is used. The ODU, hybrid coupler or OMT is mounted on a pole using an ODU mounting bracket and connects to an antenna using a flexible waveguide. A hybrid coupler is the combination of an RF signal combiner and splitter and is used to install two ODUs onto the same antenna. It can implement various system configurations such as 2 plus 0 single polarization, 1 plus 1 HSB and 1 plus 1 FD. Configurations involving two or fewer RF directions can be implemented by system control boards without the need for IF boards. These configurations require a system control board, two ODUs, a hybrid coupler, and a single polarized antenna. An OMT, short for Orthogonal Mode Transducer, is used to directly mount two ODUs with different polarization directions onto the same antenna. The OMT also supports different system configurations. For example, 2 plus 0 dual polarization and XPIC. These configurations require a system control board, two ODUs, an OMT, and a dual polarized antenna. A dual polarized coupler directly mounts four ODUs onto a dual polarized antenna. It can achieve four plus zero dual polarization and one plus one XPIC configurations. To support more than two RF directions, IF boards must be installed in extended slots. An RTN 910A supports a maximum of six RF directions. These configurations require a system control board, an ISM6 board, four ODUs, a dual polarized coupler, and a dual polarized antenna. Space Diversity SD uses two antennas to receive signals from the transmit end. If the distance between the two antennas is much greater than the wavelength, the received signals are considered independent of each other. To support the 1 plus 1 SD configuration, a system control board, two ODUs, and two single polarized antennas are required. The CSHR system control board provides two IF ports, which can be used with two ODUs and two single polarized antennas to achieve two times 1 plus 0 configurations. Thank you.